Hi, it's Ryan with Weddell Home Team and welcome to another episode of Denton County Eats. Today we're in Flower Mound, Texas. We're checking out a restaurant called Verf's Grill and Tavern. Let's go in and check it out. Denton County Eats is all about showing you the coolest restaurants and food in and around Denton County. I'm Ryan Weddell with Weddell Home Team and this is Denton County Eats. Hey Florencio, how are hey, you? Hey Ryan, I see, see you again, again, man. So we're at your restaurant here, Verf's, today. Tell me a little bit about it. All right, so Verf's, we've been in the area for quite a while. Yeah? Grew up here in Louisville, Ohio Village area. Been in the area in a restaurant business in 1997 and uh, came out with the idea, Verf's. So, you know, we, we're local, family owned, and uh, we really, you know, care about, you know, what we prepare in the kitchen for our customers. So gourmet it's, food. Yes, sir. You yep. got over 50 beers on tap. 51 beers on tap. Tell me a little bit about the bar. We have a lot of you know local beers, you know a lot of them from around the world. Uh, and the bar, we treat the bar like you know like our kitchen. So a lot of the stuff that we do back here is, is homemade. Yeah. You know, I mean we you know we pretty much consider the bartender as, as a cook. So we make our own syrups. We do a lot of infusions in here in this restaurant because you know we want the customer to be able to taste the fresh ingredient, something that kind of gonna make you wow. This Definitely. is a nice refreshing drink. So, you know I'm a craft beer guy, but I hear you have a killer bourbon and whiskey selection here to choose from, is that yeah, right? Yeah, we got a great selection, man. A lot of our customers come here just because they know we carry their favorite scotch or their favorite bourbon. Yeah. So, in-house, we have a smoke old-fashioned on the regular menu. So basically, we pretty much burn real wood and fuse that into the liquid. And we make our you know our own uh, syrups and stuff like that that go into the drink. Yeah. But that's a killer drink. So today we're here to look at the food selection. So why don't we head back to the kitchen and check that out. We're back in the kitchen. Back in the kitchen. What are we gonna cook today? So today we're gonna cook a grilled salmon and steak. So we get our fresh seafood pretty much about four or five times a week. Wow. Now we got a company downtown. We send us a whole fish. We deep bone it, cut it ourselves. We do the whole nine yards here. So we're gonna cook one of those grilled salmon steaks that is on a regular menu. But we are also gonna do the bone in pork chop that we brace here in house. Yes. And uh, we dry age. So we're gonna cook that and show you what uh, what's all about. Sounds all good. Right, so let's start getting going. So today we're gonna do the uh, grilled salmon first. So what we're gonna do? We make a, a little bit of a citrus uh, garlic cream. A little, bit of, a little bit of fresh garlic, all right? Let that cook a little bit. And uh, deglaze it with a little bit of white wine. And uh, we're gonna hit it with a little bit of cream. Again, we're gonna, we're gonna keep it pretty, pretty sample, all right? We don't wanna overpower that uh, beautiful fish. So uh, with that, we're gonna finish that with a little bit of a uh, heavy cream. Uh, real fast, we're gonna saute a little bit of uh, our asparagus that we're gonna be pairing with the uh, grilled salmon and steak and the pork chop. All right, so there's your uh, fresh asparagus. And uh, we're gonna finish with a little bit of uh, apple wood smoked bacon. He's gonna do a little bit of uh, sea salt, a little bit of uh, cracked uh, black pepper. You know, we don't do much to it. We wanna make sure that you still be able to taste those uh, fresh ingredients. There's your asparagus right there with the apple wood bacon. And we're pretty much uh, ready, to, uh, ready to plate. So there's your uh, garlic mashed potatoes. Uh, grilled salmon and steak, uh, we use a uh, real mesquite on our grill. So uh, we're gonna plate that real fast. So beautiful grilled salmon and steak. We got a couple of those delicious asparagus. Gonna go on top of the uh, mashed potato just like that. Press a little bit of that uh, apple wood bacon, all right? And then we're just gonna finish it off with that uh, roasted garlic uh, citrus cream that we made earlier. All right, so just like that. All right, so pork chop, uh, like I said before, it's about 18 to 20 ounces pork chop. And uh, we got to pair that with also some uh, garlic and mashed potatoes. So there you have it. And then the pork chop is going to be right on top of the uh, taters. You see about 18 ounces pork chop right there. And uh, we're also going to do some of those asparagus with uh, pork on pork. Pork chopping up a wood bacon, right on top of the plate, just like that. A little bit of this uh, upper wood bacon beans right on top of that. And uh, that pork chop, we're gonna finish with our homemade uh, wild mushroom uh, demi-glaze, okay? So here's our demi-glaze, make this in-house. 
Look at that beautiful stuff. All right, so there he goes. I'll make sure we dress that really well. All right, so there you go. Garnish a little bit, and uh, we throw a little bit more of those uh, chopped herbs right on top. And uh, there you have it, a beautiful pork chop bone in with the wild mushroom uh, demi glaze. Well, guys, I cannot wait to try this pork chop. This looks fantastic. We've got this amazing asparagus, garlic mashed potatoes, bone in pork chop. This is gonna be phenomenal. Let's give it a shot. Guys, this is an amazing dish. You've gotta come out here to Verse. Give this a try. So you guys have an amazing patio here. Great patio, Can you tell me man. a bit about it? Great patio. So we got about 85 seats on the patio and it's climate control, comfortable. You can look out through the windows. We got those windows that roll up and down. So a lot of times when it's beautiful out, we roll those windows up, let the breeze come in. Yeah. Have a lot of planters around the patio. So it's a great place for you to come out and have a lunch. I mean, even if you looking for a place to have a meeting, this will be the perfect spot. You know, besides that, we not only serve steaks and, you know, good, good seafood, we also got, you know, burgers, we got sandwiches, we got salads. So we got a pretty good, you know, yeah, uh, menu at night. Exactly. Yeah. So good variety, so that way you're not compromised or going to a certain place just to have a certain thing. Thank you for letting us come out this week. Thanks so much, man, for uh, giving us the opportunity uh, to be in your videos. So you guys have to check out Verfs right here in the Highland Village Flower Mound area on Justin Road. Great food. Come out, give it a try. Thanks for watching, Denton County. Thanks for East. watching. If you enjoyed this episode, make sure to share it so more can find out about it. Thank you for watching Denton County Eats.